if you want to be able to de DRM your books and download them so that you can have your own cache of books like off of the like sort of air gapped off of the cloud off of anywhere where it can be accessed and updated or or you know whatever without your permission without your knowledge then go ahead and start doing that and get away from buying books from Amazon because they are making it increasingly difficult for us to do that y'all hey welcome or welcome back to my channel thanks so much for stopping by y'all some strange things are afoot and we got to sort them out <laughs> so First of all, I need to sort out some stuff that I told y'all. So I did a short, was it last, was that just last week? I think it was last week that I did a short talking about the update that Amazon did to the Kindle software that broke the current DDRM. So we can no longer like DDRM our books from like if we got that update and that's 5.18.5.0.1, which 5.18. it might've been 0.4 last week. Now that I'm thinking about it right now, it's 5.18.5.0.1. And at the time I said that a workaround for that is that if you had a Kindle, like an old Kindle that was in a drawer or something, that the battery was dead and it wasn't on the internet and didn't get the update that to run, go get it, plug it in, turn off, like put it in airplane mode and not let it get the update. Well, y'all, I've done some reading and here are some things that I think I know now, but look, first of all, let me just say, like, I'm just trying to keep up with this like everybody else, but things are changing very quickly and Amazon is not going to warn us ahead of time when they go and update these things because they don't want us downloading our books. So for right now, what I believe to be true is that only the most recent like versions of the paper white and color soft are getting these updates. So I think it's like generation 11 and 12 maybe. So if you're on an older generation, you might not have gotten the update. If you got the update, maybe it doesn't break your DDRM or like you might not have gotten the update yet, but it might be coming. I don't know any of those things, but here's what I would do. If I, and I did like, here's what I did. <laughs> I came running around like my head was on fire, found some Kindles that weren't on the internet, um, fired them up, put them in airplane mode. So I have a couple of Kindles that I'm just keeping in airplane mode and I will continue to do so even though they might not be getting updates. They might not get the update that breaks the things because I want to be able to de DRM books if I want to. And I'm hoping like so far I've been able to like, I'll get some books. I'll put the, Kindle out of airplane mode, download the books, put it back in airplane mode, and then move them from the Kindle into Caliber and do what I want to do with them. So it's worked so far. I don't know how long that's going to work. I don't know if Amazon is trying to push out that update to the Kindle. I don't know how long the Kindle has to be out of airplane mode and like for Amazon to see it before they'll send the update to it. Y'all, I don't know any of these things, but I know that for right now, that approach is working for me. Now, and quite frankly, I don't, I don't have any good like alternative for that approach. I thought about, and I was literally just about to, so I'm on Macs. I don't do Windows anything. And I had read that there was a Windows versions of like the older Kindle like app that you put on your computer. There was an older version of that you could download and still use that to de de DRM your books. But then I'd been reading and what I've read, and this might or might not be true. So Windows folks, let us know in the comments. I have read that you can't download books to those anymore. So I've read that that doesn't work anymore. As far as the Mac version, even if you have the old version, like the old Kindle version on your Mac, it forces you to update. So you can't get books like you can't like you can. There's no way to air gap it like you can't air gap it because once you un air gap it to get your books, it automatically updates. So in order to do that on a Mac, I would have had to run like a virtual Windows machine, which is what I was about to do. But then I read that even the Windows Kindles like that you can't download books to them. So what's the point? So <laughs> The point of all of that was to say that I think that um, 
versions, the Kindles older than, that aren't like an 11 or 12, I believe have not gotten the update yet. So I think you can still drag your books off of those to DDRM them, but y'all, for the love of all that's holy, if you have books, and I know like some of y'all have thousands of books, I totally get it, but if it's important enough to you that you really wanna do it, go ahead and do it because Amazon is working pretty hard to make it so that we can't DDRM our books and like save them, like have our own backup copies of our, ele backup electronic copies of our books anywhere. So if you want to get your books downloaded, do it. And then I, I have some suggestions moving forward, but you know, as far as books that you already own, I'm, I'm afraid that's the best answer that I have for you. If you have a Kindle that hasn't gotten the update yet, that you can still drag books off of to DDRM them, do, I would do that as quickly as I can before I lose the ability to do it. So with that being said, and that's really a whole lot of nothing being said there, <laughs> with that being said, I do want to offer some alternatives. And we've talked about some of these before, but, and y'all, I don't want to be here long. Like, I'd, seriously, I'd, like, I just want this to be a little quickie. So let me jump on the computer and let's talk about some alternatives because honestly, I didn't even know that they had broken DDRM. Somebody left me a comment saying, I did all the things that you did and it doesn't work. What am I doing wrong? And I was like, sister, I don't know what you're doing wrong. So I went back and looked and was kind of like walking through the, the videos that the person had followed. And I was, I went to DDRM a book just to check it. And it was like, mm, can't do it. So that was the only reason that I knew that DDRM didn't work because I've tried to get away from buying elect like eBooks from Kindle f for just this reason, just because they're working so hard against us that it's exhausting. It is exhausting trying to stay ahead of them. So with that being said, let's talk about a couple of actually easy peasies and then we'll talk about some other stuff. So let me jump us over onto the computer and I'll show you some stuff. All right, y'all, we are on the computer. I obviously don't have like notes or any sort of plan for this, but I just want to show you a couple of what I think are pretty easy, pretty viable alternatives for buying books from Amazon. And this is what I've been doing. So let's just jump, hang on, I'm going to jump us over on the Google and I'm going to just buy a couple of random books. I'm going to go to, let's, you know what, let's do, hang on, let me drag this out a little, make it look better. All right, let's go to BookBub. And let's just find some, wait, if I do it, does it work for a freebie? No, it's only Amazon. Okay. I don't want it. So here's what I want to do. I want to get the book from a couple of different sources so I can show you how it works. So, okay, here, here's a Kobo. Um, and I know we've done this before, but... All right, so I'm going to buy this book at Kobo. So hang on, let me do this. And you can, I, I want to do this just so that y'all see it's not a book that like I have anywhere. It's not, I'm going to move my head up a little bit. It's, I've not already done anything to the book. So I'm going to buy this Kobo book. Let me add it to my cart. And you don't have to, if you're like, I don't even own a Kobo. Why are you talking? I know. Calm down, Mary. I got it. So let me, I'm going to buy this book. So y'all just sit tight a second. I just added it like five times. I know I'm telling y'all to sit tight and I'm like, ah. all right, all right. That's how much I love y'all. I just spent a dollar and 19 cents or whatever on a book that I have no interest in. Dollar and eight cents. The Baby Dragon Bakery. What? All right. So that's in Kobo. Don't let me forget that. Let's go and find another one. I got to get back to BookBub. There we go. All right. So now I need one. Oh, you know, I might show y'all something fun today. All right, let's just go back to home and I think I think because of the way that I have my things set, it's not going to do what I want it to do. So let me just grab any old book. Okay, so see, it's telling me get deal here. Here's what I want to do is buy it for Google. So it's, and I'm logged in in all the places I think. So 
It's going to send it. It's a dollar ninety nine. No idea what I'm buying, y'all. But okay, so buy please. Okay, so now I've bought a Kobo book and an and a Google book. Now let's go. I'm going to go to my Kobo books. I don't know why I have this Kindle in my way. Let me put that down here. I'm logged in and I'm just going to go to my books. And look, there's that random book that I just bought. And I can click right here and click download. Download this file. Yes, please. And it's going to download the book now. Okay, good. I'm going to just open any old file. Just stick it somewhere. So I'm going to drag it into this file folder. You see it's right there. That's it. And I'm going to leave that there. And then I'm going to go... Oh, I hope this works. I'm going to go to the Google Play Store. I have to figure out how to log in over here because I don't often... It's always I always do um, Kobo, not Google. But there we go. I was logged in as the wrong me. So, all right. So here is this book. Now we're in the Google Play Store. Now look, we just click the three dots just like we did over on Kobo. Click Export. And look, it says export ACSM for EPUB. Yes, please. Export. Now it's going to go up to my downloads. There it is right there. Depressed, whatever. The depressed. I'm going to, now I'm going to drag this same thing. Is that done? Hang on. Make sure it's done. I'm going to drag this same thing over. Drop it in that same file folder. So now both of those, look, both of those are right here. All right, so now watch how peasy this is. Now there's a little more to this than what I'm going to show you, but we'll talk, we've talked about it before. We'll talk about it again in a second. But sorry, I just got all up in y'all's grill. I get a little excited. But hang on, let me show you how easy this is. So I'm going to get out of this. Y'all can look at my beautiful screensaver for a second while I open Caliber. Don't judge my calibers. Look, I'm getting black and white things in my caliber because, because my Kindle is of course black and white now, like the one that I can use. So I just need to update my, what you call it, my metadata. Now watch. See this book that we just bought? I'm going to drag it, grab it and drag it over onto Macalibur. Reading metadata. And there she blows. So now it's an EPUB, right? So I can convert to... Now, as an EPUB, remember we talked about how we can send those to our Kindle as an EPUB, and that's exactly what I would do if I wanted to read that on a Kindle. I wouldn't even do anything else. I would just drag it as an EPUB, but just to show you that... Let me drag this down where you can see it. See, this is like the Convert Things page. So I can convert it. What do you want to convert it to? You want to convert it to, a, I don't know what, an AZW, AZW3? That's a Kindle file, right? Which, again, I wouldn't drag it over... I wouldn't send it to Kindle through Caliber like we've talked about before because it makes the covers look all dumb. But look, AZW3 right there. And you can't see because my head's in the way, but it said like job jobbing right there. So that's that easy. Now, here's the book that I got on Kobo. Job equally jobbed now. The reason those work is because we've talked about this before and y'all, I will link a few videos in the description of what you need if you haven't done this before, but to convert AZW3s, there's a couple of things you need to do, some plugins you need to have downloaded, but if you were already doing Kobo files, you already have those. So Google Play Store files work the same way. And we did a whole thing. Hang on, let me get off here. That's really all I wanted to show y'all on the computer was how easily those worked. But we did a whole video before on buying DRM free books, like where to get books that are already or accessing, I guess. Some of them you buy, some of them are free, but accessing books and materials that are already DRM free. So I did a whole video on that before. I need to go back and I'm not, it's going to be a little while before I have time to do it, but I need to go back through those resources and see, I'm sure there's probably new stuff out there. So I'll go back through those and see if there are new good sources for DRM free 
content. If there are new good sources, I'll make an updated video, but otherwise I will drop that with some other stuff in the comments for you to go over and see. But for now, what I've been doing and what I recommend you do, first of all, go ahead if you have a Kindle that has not been updated and you want to be able to DDRM your books using Kindles, go ahead and put it in airplane mode, which kind of air gaps it. And then just pray for the best when you have to like go back online to download books or do whatever, just pray for the best with not getting the update. And then what I've done and what I recommend you do is, and we've talked about this before y'all, <laughs> It's like being in an abusive relationship and you just can't get out of it. Get away from buying books on the Amazons because Amazon just makes it so difficult. I mean, it, okay, let me rephrase that. If you want to be able to D DRM your books and download them so that you can have your own cache of books, like off of the, like sort of air gapped off of the cloud, off of anywhere where it can be accessed and updated or, or, you know, whatever, without your permission, without your knowledge, then go ahead and start doing that and get away from buying books from Amazon because they are making it increasingly difficult for us to do that. And whilst I'm saying that, are y'all tracking on this new color scribe that's coming out so amazon has announced it and they're like coming soon oh i know and it is disgustingly like in minnesota it's going to be over 700 dollars with taxes i know it's ridiculous nobody needs that and your girl's gonna get one i'm kind of hoping that it doesn't cut like that it comes out way closer to christmas so i can get it as my christmas present from the intern but i know i'm already like i've been trying to talk myself out of it but i'm like to who are you trying to kid? I know y'all ain't wrong. It's ridiculous. I do not need it. I have absolutely no business having it, but I'm going to have one. They don't even have it in green. Like it's in that like granite and like burgundy. Still going to have it. Anyway, I got to go now. So let us know in the comments, what are y'all thinking about this whole Amazon hitting us with another break-in of the DDRM? Actually, you know what? We shouldn't be surprised by this because what we are doing is trying to stay one step ahead of them. They're constantly breaking DDRM. So it wasn't surprising that they did this. I know I just answered my own question. <laughs> it wasn't surprising that they did this. And y'all, even if we get a fix to the current DDRM that addresses the current update, which I will be surprised if we do because this one's pretty severe. Like what they've done, it's it's pretty aggressive. I mean, good on them for doing it. They don't want us messing with their stuff. All right, but um, it's pretty aggressive. So I will be surprised if we go back to being able to DDRM the books that we download using the newest version and versions moving forward. I mean, if we can, then I will let you know, but yeah, we're just constantly like trying to stay one step ahead of them, which is why I say if you've got a Kindle that will allow you to do it, air gap that thing before they get a hold of it. So <laughs> with that being said, I don't know what that little tangent was. But anyway, let us know in the comments. What do you think about all this? <laughs> Does it serve us right? And what are you doing? Are you still trying to work with Amazon, like within the Amazon ecosystem to get your books DDRM'd? Have you jumped ship from Amazon already? Are you jumping ship from Amazon? Let us know what you're thinking. Y'all, thank you so, so much for hanging out with me. If you made it this far, we are most definitely friends. So go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you can keep up with the shenanigans. I upload food and fitness videos over on Fit Danielle Eats the beginning of every week with some book videos over here sprinkled in between. And now I do devotionals every morning over on Fit Danielle Praise. So if I don't see you out there on one of those, I'll catch you on the next one.